Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to put together the mailbox bouquet box card. And the main structure of your box card is made up of this piece and this piece. And I'll show you how that all goes together here in just a second. But what I want to focus on right now is just showing you where all the little pieces go. Okay, so we're going to start with the backmost portion of the card. And I'm going to put the card right here. So you can kind of look at it and you'll notice that we've got these bell flowers here. Okay. So you just want to grab and glue this piece here and we're going to grab and glue this piece here and actually, sorry, goes like this. Okay. And then we've got this piece here and as you can see, We've actually inked a lot of these, uh, just a nice subtle inking around the edges, just to kind of give them a little bit more dimension. And on some of these, and you can actually do more or less if you want, you can glue these all flat down if you want, or down flat if you want, or um, you can kind of glue just the bottom part and flare some of these out like we did here. These are kind of flared out here, so they're not completely glued down. And um, also, if you'd like, you can actually pop dot these instead to give them even more dimension like we did with this flower here. So we can go ahead and continue showing you where the pieces go. So that is how that layer works. And then the next layer is the middle layer here. Okay. And that is made up of, just go through the pieces here with you, this little piece here going to get glued down right there. Okay. It's pretty self-explanatory. I think if you just look at the video, you can pretty much, or actually even the picture, not even the video, you can figure out where all this stuff goes. So it's not really tough. It's kind of just like a little puzzle. So as long as you take your time and figure out where all these little pieces go, you should have absolutely no problem piecing this together. Okay. So again, we did a lot of inking, and we've got this cool little daisy flower that's going to go right here. Okay. Now again, you can glue that down or you can pop dot it, whichever you prefer. And for all of the flowers that have little center pieces, we actually used gold foil for those. Okay. Now you might be using a different piece or a different type of paper for that. And I'm just trying to find the one little piece here that seems to be elusive for the middle of the daisy. So I may have lost this little piece in transport, but you are going to have a little um, gold foil or whatever color you decide to make it little stamen or centerpiece for the daisy. Okay. And then this flower here is made up of this piece. And then there's also this little piece that has a little stamen piece in the middle there. And that just kind of gets overlapped like that. And then there is a gold or in our case, a gold foil stamen piece that we just glued right on there. Okay. So that makes up that layer. And now we can take a look at the front layer. And now you notice I'm not gluing these down. I just want to show you where they all go. And uh, that's all you really need to know. Okay. So this piece, is going to go right here. Okay. And we've got this flower here. It's very similar to the other flower that we had with the little stamen piece. And that's going to get glued down right here. And again, you can either just pop dot the center of that and then also just pop dot this piece here. Okay. Kind of just goes like that. And then there is a nice little stamen piece so that you can add some more color in there. Okay. And we also have this little leaf piece here and we've got the base of the flower here. And then finally we have this little leaf here. Okay. So there's a little bit of piecing to do with this, but it's kind of fun really colorful and you can do some inking and just really make this project pop. Okay. So that is that piece there. 
So I'll put that to the side. And now also on this piece here, okay, now the flag you're gonna leave alone, but we did have this little grass piece here that you're gonna bend over like so, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna glue this right on here like so, okay? Your flag has a panel. It's gonna get glued on just like that. And then we also have a little daisy that's made up of these two pieces here. It's gonna get glued on right there. Okay, and that also has a tiny little gold stamen piece, or just a, not a stamen, but just a little middle piece there. Okay, so that pretty much explains the positioning of all the little pieces. Now at this point, um, also, what you can do is glue down your panels. Now what I would do with this side is start with this little latch and just get that glued down using the, um, the white part of the, the main structure as kind of a guide as to where to place it. And then you can glue your panel down just like so. And your other panel is gonna go right on the other side, okay? And now also, before you glue down the flag, you do want to make sure that you glue this piece down. The top of it's gonna be flush with the top of the card there. So just make sure that's nice and centered. And then obviously you can glue that down and then put your daisy on there, okay? And then finally, we have this back piece here and you just wanna make sure that you glue that nice and centered right there on the back piece. So let's go ahead and show you how the assembly of this thing works. It's very simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glue and we need to simply glue this independent piece here that I have in white onto this tab here. Okay, let's just put a little bit of glue there. Just make sure that it butts right up against that score line. You kinda want it basically touching that score line Barely. Make sure that it's nice and level on the bottom. Okay, and then once it's got a good hold, you can go ahead and bend it over. Again, while it's still kind of wet, just make sure that you've got everything nice and aligned. Go ahead and bend that over. And bend that over train the tab, get that ready to go. You should be able to glue this flat and actually doing so will ensure that this thing folds properly. Okay, so we just simply close it up. Okay, and then you can go ahead and bend it the other way too, just to make sure that it moves around nicely for you. Okay. So there's the basic shape of your box card and we can go ahead and begin putting in the pieces. So again, yours are already gonna have all of your uh, little pieces attached. With this piece here, you're gonna bend the tabs back. You're gonna put glue on this tab here. Okay, now you're gonna wanna make sure that you get enough glue on there. For demonstration purposes, I not really doing as many as I would. I'm gonna bend it just, just a little bit so as I'm placing it inside, it doesn't scrape up against anything. And then you can simply take it and using your table as a nice surface to help you get it aligned at the bottom, take and push this thing back so that these tabs butt up against the back of the card. Okay, so then you can actually take it and fold it flat and apply pressure this way to help that tab really get a grip. And before it's completely dry, take it and bend it the other way and make sure that that tab gets a grip on the other side as well. Okay, and that's what that should look like. Okay, and it should move freely. Okay, you're gonna repeat that same process. And actually before we put that next piece in, we're gonna to wanna to take this piece and you actually are going to be applying glue on the front, 
on this bottom piece here, and you're going to align the top of this with the top of this. So we're just going to take this, slide it in here, just get that nice and aligned. Just make sure that gets a good grip, okay? And then finally, you can take this piece, now you're going to take the tabs and you're going to fold them towards you, or in this case it's called a valley fold. You're going to place glue on this side of the tab. And just as we did before, we kind of cave it in a little bit, drop it in. And I'm going to take, kind of angle it, and push that tab down just like so until it's nice and flush with the bottom and nice and flush with the front of the box. Okay, just take a peek in there and make sure that it looks good. And it looks like it's gripping pretty well, so I'm going to just bend it gently. And now I'm going to apply force and pressure to make sure that glue really gets a good grip. And I'm going to bend it the other way. And there we go. Okay. So there is what your box card should look like. Yours will obviously be all decorated. So that takes care of that. Now let's take a look at the envelope that comes with this thing. Okay, one second here. Okay, now we have two options for the envelope. Oh, here's that piece that I was missing. There it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the envelope that comes with this. And we've included two options for the envelope. One with a cute little motif on the top or the flap that actually closes. And there's also a plain one. If you decide to go with the one that contains the, um, the design, there are two additional layers that you're going to need to glue together. So what you want to do is you want to take these two pieces, actually, we'll take this piece and just get it aligned so that that hole matches up with that little latch element that we used on the side of the envelope. So you're going to glue that into place. And you're going to, want to make sure that you put glue around this and you don't put it on this actual piece because you don't know where that glue is going to go if you put it on there. So you want to make sure that you glue this part of it. Okay, so just be real careful with your glue. Make sure you get it into all those little nooks and crannies so it doesn't peel away from that area. Okay. And then just kind of take a look at and where else you can actually put the glue. So I'm going to put a line of glue along the edge of this as well so that this doesn't come peeling off. Okay, and I'm going to just put this down like so and then shift it around until I've got it nice and centered. Okay, just push that down and make sure it gets a good grip. And then you can finish it off with this piece here. So you're going to glue that into place as well. I'm not going to show you that. And now finally, we're going to take, this is the top of the envelope, we're going to take these two flaps and push them in. And then we've got this piece here. Okay. So just take a look at where you're going to place your glue. Okay. So I am going to place glue here along the edge out there. Okay. And then just go ahead and close that. Great. So you've got your, your beautiful envelope. Okay. And then you can take your card and fold it. Pop it right in. I didn't give this thing enough time to dry, but you get the idea. And then you can either pop dot it or glue it down. And there is your card. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. 
live, craft, love, and dream.